Well, hello folks, and uh, thanks for coming back if you're a viewer that's been with me, and welcome to you if you're a new viewer. Uh, if you are new, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Again, I'm not a preacher, I'm not a pastor, I'm not a minister, I'm not a missionary, I'm not an evangelist. What I am is I am a believer in Jesus Christ, amen, and I sure hope you are too, amen. Um, I want to tell you some really good news, but in order for me to uh, tell you that, I have to kind of tell on myself first. I, uh, being a traveler, it's easy to do, and being new to reading the Bible, it's even easier to do that when you're traveling. I got to one of those little nooks at a hotel, and I went off and I left my Bible. I, uh, I realized that I had left it, and uh, so kudos to the Quality Inn in Victoria, Texas. I called them this morning, and uh, sure enough, they had held it for me, so I came back tonight and, and picked it up. And, uh, so I'm, I'm thankful of that. When I got here, the young man behind the counter had it for me, and I asked him. I used that as a as a lead-in to ask him if he was uh, uh, if he was Muslim or Christian. I'm not that versed on the different uh, cultures, and he said he was Hindu. I said, oh, okay. So uh, we talked more, and I got checked in. I went back out to grab the microphone for this video right here. And I thought I would take that opportunity to bring the conversation up again because it's a real funny looking microphone. Kind of looks like a dead rat. But uh, so I showed it to him, and you know him being foreign, whatever. I uh, I said, hey, look at this. This is a microphone. He goes, really? What do you do for a living? I said, well, I said uh, I, I'm not using the, the microphone and, and cameras and stuff for for work. I'm using that because I read the uh, chapter a day out of the King James Bible. And he perked up, got real interested, and. Uh, wanted to know, so he found it. I had to get do it the hard way, let him search for Mark Keller Bible reading, and we had to go through a bunch of stuff to find it because I don't yet have 100 subscribers so that I can get that easy channel. But he got there, and he got excited and said that he would be sharing it with uh, other travelers, amen? So isn't that some wonderful news? I, uh, so I went back to the room and printed him up a little, a little sheet and uh, took it to him so that, that, that he could share it with folks and he was real excited. So I took that opportunity to, to get him more involved and told him that I would shoot a little quick video of him with my phone there at the desk. And, uh, and so we did that. And let me share that with you here now. And let me go over to that video. Hello folks, this is Jay Patel. He's the nice fellow here in, in Victoria, Texas at the Quality Inn I'm staying at tonight. And he asked for a way to share the channel with other travelers, so I printed him out the little deal. Say hello to everybody, Jay. Hey, hello everyone, how are you? Hey, I just had the Mark visited to our hotels and he just showed me like, you know, uh, these Bible things and uh, uh, like uh, whoever they're interested, please like, you know, just scan this uh, code and you will get the like, you know, channels and you will see so many videos and he's a really like nice guy. So please subs subscribe for him and then just um, and just read the like you know Bibles and those things. Well, thank you, Jay. You want to show them how easy it works? Yeah, all you need to just turn on the camera, just put it in a QR code. Once you put it, see that bubble that popped up right there, and the page is gonna be open it, and, and you will get it. Straight to the page. Well, well, I appreciate your help, right, Jay, you. and uh, really God, God bless you. All right, thank you. Isn't that just amazing, folks? I mean, I walk in and and he's telling me that he's a Hindu, and within 30 minutes he's uh, he's asking for a printout so that he can share this channel. Amen. What a blessing! What a blessing! So, um, I hope that encourages you or reminds you and encourages you that. Uh, it's always worth saying something to folks, no matter what it is. Uh, it's okay. Matter of fact, it's right to open your mouth and, and say something uh, good about the Lord and God and Jesus and, and the Bible and, and all of that. Look, I'm not telling you what to do, but I do believe that it's somewhere in this book right here that you're supposed to spread the Word of God. Amen. And I choose doing these videos because uh, it's twofold. I get to use it as a video diary for myself, but it's also, it, it may encourage somebody. And I can tell you there's a few followers so far. Uh, the numbers are low, but that's fine with me. One person is, is enough for me, amen. So I'm encouraged by it. And again, I get to use it to go back and reread the Bibles uh, again, the same chapter later, 
and kind of see the differences in what I thought before and what I thought then. And it can just keep going on and on. Amen. So again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for me so that it makes it easier and easier to share. That, that That's my my thought process to make this easier. So one last uh, uh, notice here or, or information or update, I should say, is I realized uh, day before yesterday that tomorrow, because this is going to release at 4.30, tomorrow being Wednesday, uh, the Wednesday, September 16th, I, I realized a couple days ago that when this releases, it will actually be my seven, seventh month anniversary since getting saved. Amen. So you're watching this video with, of, of a fella reading his Bible that's been saved one day shy of seven months. And uh, I feel like the Lord has, has brought me a long way. Amen. Uh, there's plenty of videos on this channel already. And there's, there's some reading that, that I was doing before. I had the thought to do these videos, so you know any comments you can throw. You know I can use encouragement too. I, I try to I try to give it and, and share it, and it's nice to receive it. So by all means, spread the word in whatever way works best for you. Amen. So let's get back to uh, without further ado, I should say, let's get back to the reading of the Bible. That's why we're here, right? So uh, we left. We finished off in chapter twenty-five. We'll, we'll see where. Uh, See where the Lord directs my thoughts tonight in chapter 26. So here we go. As snow in the summer and as rain in harvest, so honor is not seemingly for a fool. As the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse causeless shall not come. As the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse causeless shall not come. I don't quite understand that one. Verse 3, a whip for the horse, a bridle for the ass, and a rod for the fool's back. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. He that sendeth a message by the hand of a fool cutteth off the feet, and drinketh damage. The legs of the lame are not equal, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. Verse 8, as he that bindeth a stone in a sling, so is he that giveth honor to a fool. As a thorn goeth up into the hand of a drunkard, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. So is a parable in the mouth of fools. Or a thorn in a drunk man's hand, or a drunk person's hand. Sounds like either one will hurt you, is what it sounds like to me. Verse 10, the great God that formed all things both rewarded the fool and rewarded transgressors. As a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly. Seest thou a man wise in his own conceit, there is more hope of a fool than of him. Seest thou a man wise in his own conceit, there is more hope of a fool than of him. There's more hope for a fool than a conceited. That's exactly what that says. Verse 13, the slothful, the slothful man saith, there is a lion in the way, a lion is in the streets. As the door turneth upon his hinges, so doth the slothful upon his bed. The slothful hideth his hand in his bosom, it grieveth him to bring it again to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason. He that passeth by and meddleth with strife, belonging not to him, is like one that taketh a dog by the ears. Let's, 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 uh, let's, let's dig deeper into that verse 17. He that passeth by and meddleth with strife. So, fellow walking by something, and he going, that's not his, And strife, and he wants to meddle with it. That's the same thing. Is like one. That's the same thing as going out there and grab a dog by the ears and see how that works out for you. It's the same thing. Grab a dog by the ears, or go, or go pass, or go go meddle in some strife that you're passing by. It's not even yours. Pass it by. <sighs> Verse 18. As a madman who casteth firebrands, arrows, and death. 
so is the man that deceiveth his neighbor and saith, Am not I in sport? Yeah, as a madman who casteth firebrands, arrows, and death. I mean, that's wild. So is the man that deceiveth his neighbor. So if you're deceiving your neighbor, which I don't, I love my neighbors. As a madman who casteth firebrands, arrows, and death. So is the man that deceiveth his neighbor and saith, Am, I, am not I in sport? No, you're not in sport. Uh, verse 20, where no wood is, there the fire goeth out. You got to have fuel for the fire. So where there is no tailbearer, the strife ceaseth. Get away from that tailbearer and, and the fire is going to go out. You know, the, the, uh, the mess is going to stop. Verse 21, as coals are to burning coals and wood to fire, which is fuel, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. So if you're going to hang around a contentious man, it's always going to be kindling strife. That's the comparison there. Don't hang around a contentious, contentious man. Verse 22, the words of a talebearer are as wounds and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. Burning lips and a wicked heart are like a potsherd covered with silver dross. I don't know if that's dross or dross. I think it's dross. If you know the pronunciation, more importantly, I don't even know what it means. So if you know the meaning, by all means, drop a comment. Uh, you'll help me and you, you know, other people may be viewing the channel that don't know either. So uh, let's, let's help each other and share and grow. Um, so if you know what dross means, drop a comment. Man. Appreciate it. Verse 24, he that hateth dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit within him. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart, whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. That's verse 28. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it. So if somebody's lying, trying to hurt somebody, afflict them, well, then, yeah, they obviously hate them. You know, I don't think people, well, yeah. And a flattering mouth worketh ruin. Now, I've been warned by the pastors and bread, other brethren, uh, watch out for flattery, because flattery will get you in trouble. I can see, I can see that you know flattering could 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 get you into trouble. Get that get that uh, false confidence going, and, and Lord forbid you get some pride going. And uh, that's one of the hard things that was supposed for me to try to wrap my head around is why pride was bad. But although I don't have it 100 percent figured out, I, I think I got a better understanding how pride can hurt you, and pride's not not necessarily a good thing. So. Um, Again, I want to say thank you to Jay uh, for spreading the word at, here at the, at the Quality Inn in Victoria. And uh, man, I hope he, he's able to share it with a whole bunch of people. And I hope hope you folks, you know, you can share this on your social media too. Um, look, it, we all know I'm not trying to get famous. It's not going to happen. That's not what this is about. What it's about is twofold. One is giving me a video, a diary uh, of, of my Bible reading. I can go back and understand and, and, and reevaluate and see what I learned between readings. And two, there may be, just may be somebody out there that these videos could help, and I sure would like for, for it to be able to help somebody. So I love you. Uh, thank you for being here. Looking forward to sharing more videos with you. If you get a chance, come back tomorrow. The video is released at 4.30 p.m. every day, so you can pick back up on Chapter 27 tomorrow at 4.30. But remember, you can go to the channel page, and you can watch any of the pre-recorded ones, different books, whatnot. You don't have to watch just at 4.30. So y'all take care, and we'll see you on the next, uh, next video. Well... You may see me. I won't get to see you, right? So y'all take care.